Clyde, while it might be odd for us to see a deer roaming the city streets, the Hamilton County SPCA says it's that time of year. It's mating season, and as the leaves continue to fall from the trees, deer tend to migrate towards more populated areas, just like that deer that was found creating lots of chaos around the city today. This is the deer that found its way downtown today, causing quite the commotion for pedestrians, especially for Alyssa Fowler. Then I look over and I see this deer coming, and everyone was able to move out of the side, but all anywhere I had to go was just to lean up against the window at the skyline. And I just stood there, and then it looked over toward me and just decided to charge me. But the deer stopped in its tracks when a man scared it away. The frantic deer then ran through two glass windows on the first level of the Federal Reserve building near the lobby. The SPCA says the deer severely injured its leg, then ran off and was later tranquilized near Great American Ballpark. Usually, this time of year, we have increased deer crashes and. October, November. Sergeant Scott Beer with the Ohio Highway Patrol says the highway is commonplace to find deer roaming, and it's easier for drivers to crash because of speed. You got more traffic than if they're not paying attention, looking ahead of what's going on, the vehicles ahead of them, and you know, the cars in front stop, and then there's secondary crash. Statistics released by the Ohio Department of Public Safety in 2012 show that October and November had the highest number of deer related crashes. In October, close to 3,000. In November, that number jumped to 5,000 crashes just in one month across the Buckeye State. Last year, Hamilton County had 508 deer related crashes. And it was so surreal, it was almost like it was going in slow motion. Like he was probably running so fast, but all I could do was just look into its eyes, and there was nowhere for me to go. And fortunately, no one was injured from that deer earlier tonight. The uh, Hamilton County SPCA again had to tranquilize that deer and they later put it down. They say the deer's injuries were far too severe for it to survive. Amy Wattis, and on your side, live from downtown.